What's going on guys, Jamie here. Hope you guys have had a good new year and I'm back with uh, another video. Again, sorry with the delay, it's really been just down to school work and well, you can probably understand given over my final year now. Anyway, I have got uh, quite an exciting thing to take a look at for you guys today. Uh, what I have in front of me is the Techlast X98 Air 2 or a T-pad as they've named on the box here. Now, besides being a complete and total clone of the uh, iPad Air, or an attempt of a clone of the iPad Air, the outside design anyway, um, this tablet is actually quite useful, and I'll get into that as we um, go further into the uh, review slash look at this tablet. I have only had a day to properly play around and use it, but I did take it into school today to see how it um, fared as a general tablet, uh, how I would use it as a normal tablet. I think overall actually it's a pretty, it's not it's not bad for the price. So now actually you can get this on um, AliExpress which is a uh, substrate of Alibaba. It's a, China, they're a Chinese company which are uh, basically like, um, imagine a Chinese version of Amazon. So uh, this particular version sells for 209 US dollars and uh, it comes with, uh, with uh, Windows 8.1, a licensed copy, yes, and uh, Android 4.4.2, I believe. I've not uh, yet got around to using the Android version. Now, I do apologise for not having an iPad Air to compare this to directly, but size-wise, I've got an iPad 3 here, and uh, you can see they are pretty much the same size. Anyway, um, different screen, I do apologise, that was a bit uh, mucky there. But uh, yes, exact same screen size, 9.7 inches, and uh, as we found, as as we will find out soon as well, uh, this tablet is uh, unusually good quality actually for a Chinese ripoff of, a, of an, an Apple product. If you've seen around on YouTube, I'm sure there have been some. Uh, quite bad copies, uh, but th this is an exception, I would say, actually. So, uh, yeah, iPad 3 here. Uh, the iPad Air 2, just out of interest, is uh, 7.5 millimeters in thickness. This is actually a hair thinner at uh, 7.4, and, yeah, the front is full glass, and uh, the back is actually aluminium. It's uh, surprising, I think, for one of these rip-off things, because you know, they've cut some corners somewhere, we'll soon find that out, but uh, yeah, I think it's designed to mimic the look of a 3G model, judging by this uh, plastic pack um, thing at the top here. Now, obviously, it's not um, kind of the same quality that you get out of an Apple thing, as I've said. The aluminium, as you can see here, the scratch, that's happened today, actually, and uh, I've had the iPad in the exact same place and used it in the exact same way, and I haven't had scratches on that magnitude. Um, I have not cracked or uh, scratched the screen yet, although, um, again, that is something that could well happen. So, if we go ahead and uh, fire it up, I'm not sure if it's gone to yet, so it's uh, in sleep there. So, it's got uh, Windows 8.1 and um, takes it straight to the desktop. Now this is uh, a full version of Windows 8.1. It's not like an RT or a cut down version because believe it or not, there is actually an Intel Atom inside here. So you get full 64 bit Intel processors, um, dual core. So um, yeah, it's, it's good, good enough just about to run it. I believe the clock speed is uh, uh, 1.33 gigahertz out of the box. We'll be able to uh, see actually if we go into um, task manager here it will tell us exactly um, in the performance section so yes um, we can see at the moment it's running at um, 1.18 gigahertz but uh, yeah it says maximum speed of 1.33 but it does turbo boost to 2.16 it has 2 gigs of DDI3 RAM and uh, it has a 32 gig um, internal partition, now internal drive even, but you'll see here, oh no, it's not 32 gig, it's only 14.2. That's because they've actually split the tablet half and half, Android and Windows. I'm yet to remove the Android, but uh, I'll be using this as a Windows tablet, actually. So, yeah, it, it's um, not, you know, the <laughs> best specs in the world, I would say, but certainly for its purpose, it's very good. And uh, if I, you know, see there's no lag, it, it just works. If I um, now go along here for a launch a game like 2048, it will quite happily do that. Or um, if I would say go back to back to start, um, 
down over to Flappy Bird, for example, or Cut the Rope, I've got that installed. Uh, so you can, you can get all of these, you know, tablet optimized apps, which do work, hello. Um, I am filming with my iPhone, by the way. I think I just get much better uh, results in here compared to the DSLR. Um, so yeah, you know, no lag, it just works. Likewise, actually, with um, a lot of the desktop apps, so say if I wanted to launch like iTunes, for example, this is an advantage of the Windows 8. You can run full and uh, fully featured desktop apps. I wouldn't be attempting anything like gaming on here, and uh, I don't think I've tapped on that properly. Um, as I understand, games just won't run. That's as simple as that. So uh, iTunes, got that here. I haven't got anything on here, but you can see it, it does work. Uh, not when that loads, that's probably my internet, there you go. Uh, so yeah, it, it's quite cool in that respect, I think, you know, cheap. You can uh, do all sorts of stuff like Netflix. Um, I've got some other desktop apps here, like this thing called PyQT. This, I mean, you will load it and look at it, and uh, when it does come up, you'll see it is pretty much a, like a full desktop application. You can run it on something that is this size, which I just think is actually pretty cool. Uh, now, ports-wise on here, you will get uh, your standard um, power and volume, which I've been pressing uh, unintentionally throughout the whole time. Uh, you have got on the bottom a quite a nice variety. Uh, you have got a micro, from the left to the right, you have got uh, a micro HDMI. I have locked the exposure somehow. A micro HDMI, um, 3.5 mil headphone, and a uh, micro USB 2 connector. It actually uh, supports USB on the go, and they do uh, provide in the box a special cable, which enables, just plug it in, and uh, it actually enables you to get a full-size USB connector out of that. So you can, you know, connect a external hard drive, USB mouse, all sorts of peripherals to it, which is quite cool. Again, you know, it helps for it to um, be used as a more of a um, fully featured Windows tablet than just one of those these Android ripoffs. Um, micro SD as well, which means uh, you can expand the 32 gigs of inbuilt storage all the way up to about, I don't know what the limit is at the moment, I think it's 128 gigs. So you could in theory put that in there if you want. Uh, one caveat though, this tablet does come um, all out of the box with Chinese um, as the default language, so well, you either need to speak it or recognize how to change the language in Windows without the aid of any uh, on screen prompts to get it to work. But uh, as you can see, you know, no lag and it does um, work quite well. If we move closer, you will also notice there's quite a cool feature um, the screen, incredibly clear. It is, in fact, I'll just prove to you. If we go uh, close the X out of that, uh, if I uh, go to the resolution settings on the thing, my right, phone doesn't really want to autofocus today, which is quite annoying. Uh, you will see we get 2048 by 1536 resolution, which uh, is exactly pixel for pixel the same resolution as the iPad, anything from um, with the Retina display. So. That means it is retina. It's quite quite simply put. It's um, very crisp, very clear. Uh, color saturation is excellent on this, and it makes it great for watching films. And as you can see, just in, I'm not sure probably how well this will be coming up on YouTube, but uh, the uh, actual picture quality is quite good, and it is an IPS panel as well, although um, it's not right at the front of the screen, so the viewing angle is compromised. Now, you'll be wondering, um, wow, is this good? There must be some kind of drawback. Well, there, well, there is, simply. <laughs> uh, they're minor, but there, there are still some drawbacks. They've had to cut the, cut the um, feature somewhere. Now, if I go ahead and launch the camera, you will probably see this. Um, this is the camera, that's me. I mean, um, that is about VGA quality. It's not excellent, but uh, if I go ahead and, uh, I think it's hold at the bottom. I can never remember, swipe up. Uh, and there's some, you can see there, kind of some stuff going on at the side, so, you know, it's not brilliant, change camera. Um, yeah, it's, <laughs> they claim it's 5 megapixels, I doubt that personally, uh, but 
that you probably have a 720p video capture, not that I would use this for video in any, any way, but uh, yeah, it's uh, kind of minor. Um, audio quality is not amazing, but you can really... I'm not sure well you can hear that, the whole thing vibrates when you do that, but uh, I can't imagine the iPads is much better. Uh, so don't be expecting anything amazing from that front. The headphone output is not particularly loud. I've tried that with uh, a variety of headphones. Um, yeah, you won't be expecting to use this for gaming. Performance is quite limited. If you're wanting a tablet for or more, you don't really have a tablet for that kind of, you know, intensive gaming or intensive usage, but if you are looking for something certainly that has more capability, I would recommend looking at a Surface Pro. Surface Pro 3, I think, is the latest one now. Uh, that's got the Intel Core i3, i5, i7, so you can get a lot more performance out of this. Atom, you're looking at Celeron level performance, which isn't brilliant, but as I said, it's enough to run most day-to-day uh, -day activities and tasks. Um, yeah, Windows 8.1, which is fairly touch optimized. What is noticeable, uh, or worth noting even, is it does actually come with a subscription of Office 365 at the box, which means you can get uh, a full Office suite. I believe it lasts for about a year. Um, if you just fire that up. Yeah, full, full um, desktop Office compatibility, which is quite good. And um, yeah, that lasts for about a year. Now, it is fully licensed as well. Uh, it comes with a license key. You'll see it's activated. If I uh, go over to um, Control Panel and into System. It took... Um, no, I don't want to add features. It took me a couple of reboots to get uh, everything working fully in English. You just basically have to install a new English language pack, which is easy enough done. So you can, as we can see here, um, Atom uh, Bay Trail. So that is going to be from Ivy Bridge. So actually, I would say um, that, that's getting quite dated now. This was introduced uh, in August, and it was a follow-on from the uh, X98 Air 3G, which is the last generation of this, um, which does have quite some serious differences. So I would actually be tempted to say, given there probably will be another model of this coming out soon, to uh, hold off from buying one of these, if you are looking at it as a serious tablet, uh, and wait for Intel's Broadwell and Skylake. Skylake is about a year off now. They're um, totally new microarchitectures, but they do promise serious, serious benefits in the mobile computing world. I mean, I've seen some of the Broadwell tablets at, uh, well, on, on video um, from CES, and they are um, about the thickness of this, but you get a whole equivalent of an Intel Core i5 mobile processor out of it, which is quite extraordinary. Battery life, something else I haven't mentioned yet. Uh, I've got 38% at the moment. I've been using this all day, probably about six or seven hours usage in total. Um, well, that's um, it, the amount of time it's been on. It has not ever given me a, um, you know, time remaining. But um, 38, I don't think it is uh, appalling, but uh, it's got a 8,500 milliamp hour battery inside, which is quite mammoth, and it should really do the job. So, to be honest, I think you'll be fine battery-wise for this. Um, other stuff with the tablet, really, I've seen it um, lurking around over the internet. I'm actually going to try and do some other stuff with this, see if I can get any other operating systems working on here. Um, some of the Windows stuff amuses me, though, like um, this whole Peoples thing. I don't actually recognise half the stuff in there. I don't. Know. I think it must collate them from Twitter and Facebook and that. Um, Windows does do stuff nicely in terms of you can log in with your Windows Live, or Windows, um, what will it be now, Microsoft account, and uh, it will sync all of your settings and, uh, you know, um, customization and apps, which is quite handy. Uh, although something to be aware of is in the Windows Store, certainly, there are a lot of clones of apps. You will find, for example, if I go in here and uh, just even plug in um, Flappy Flappy Bird, you'll see that there are quite literally um, hundreds of different versions of it, and um, some more crappy than others. So just be aware when you're going around. Microsoft are not very hands-on with the filtering. 
thing I do like is all of the Windows touch gestures and of course um, as it is a Windows 8 tablet you can do these nice cool snappy snappy things like that. Only in uh, landscape mode though, I don't believe it works in portraits. It has got an accelerator, yeah, so it's not even going into portrait at the moment. It has got an accelerometer built in so it will automatically adjust uh, your screen orientation. It has Wi-Fi only no GPS or 3G. It has Bluetooth as well, I believe. Yes, it has Bluetooth. And um, yes, yeah, so USB on the go is the primary method of transferring stuff into it. it. Does take quite a long time to charge. That's the only thing as well, because obviously USB 2, it will only accept a certain amount of amps through here. USB 3.1 will fix that. That's another reason to wait for a new tablet because um, with USB 3.1, you can get a maximum of 300 watts. USB 2 tops out at about 20, 25 watts. And um, that means this takes a long, long time to actually charge up fully. Um, again, that's, you know, they had to make the cuts somewhere, but I was incredibly impressed with the screen in this, certainly. Um, I've had compliments from it throughout the whole day. And um, disbelief, actually, that you can pick up one of these things for just under uh, 100, well, 150 pounds in, in the UK, which I think is quite phenomenal, uh, considering what you do get for that. The keyboard isn't that bad. Uh, it's the Windows 8 keyboard, and it does everything you would probably want it to do. It's better than the iOS keyboard. I was, I would go as far as to say that on um, the iPad, and you've got all of the options, so you can have it split. Uh, you can have handwriting recognition, which is crap. Look. Well, it will recognise it, but it's been quite laggy at times, yeah. So it's <laughs> it's whatever you want. Um, out of the box, you obviously get your um, UK power adapter, which is all good. You get this uh, USB cable. Um, you get a charging brick and a... USB charging leads, neither of which I've used because, to be frank, I don't trust them as they're, you know, um, I've had so many Chinese adapters blow up. Um, yet, I'm yet to see, that obviously it's in its first day now, I don't know how long this will last, I don't know um, whether it, at this stage, will make it through a whole life cycle of a tablet. I simply bought this because I really didn't want to buy a new iPad for um, around... £400 and anybody that has an iPad 3 will I'm sure sympathise with me when I say it is slow um, in 2015 now, I hard to believe that actually, 2015 now and um, that is in its third year I think um, and iOS 8 just does not run well and I think it is ridiculous that this can run a full desktop operating system for that price um, when this is the other one is struggling to run iOS. Um, that's pretty much it for the Teclas X98 Air 2. That is a mouthful of a name. Um, it is, as I said, basically an iPad clone, but a very good iPad clone at that. I, uh, to be honest, don't think that um, you could honestly find a better iPad clone than that. I would certainly struggle to. And um, even though it does not run, um, say, Android, well, it does run Android, say, if it, it does not run iOS directly, I think, to be honest, it's a lot better and much more useful for certainly me as a student to be able to have a full Windows system, which is actually quite well optimised for touch now, and I can finally uh, understand the point in Windows 8. <laughs> I'm sure uh, it, it takes a touch screen really to appreciate the new features. But anyway, that, that is the uh, Techlast X98 Air 2. Uh, I will leave the links and um, specifications for that in the description and you're welcome to take a look at that or uh, alternatively if you have other suggestions of tablets that are worth looking at so do go ahead and leave them in the comments because of course I'm sure um, with many of these unrecognized brands that I'm sure there are many that are, that are quite similar but this just happened to be, to be the one that I had heard about and chose to get my hands on so anyway yep thank you very much for watching and uh, I will see you in another video